Jerry at Fair Oaks. Hey, Tubby, how about a piece of that bread? Or are you going to eat it all? Let's see. Four, six, and ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen pieces. Oh, I think I can spare one. Here, pass this up to him, Harold. <laughs> okay, here you are, Jerry. Hey, how about <laughs> another glass of water, Jerry? What, again? Hey, that's the third glass already. Mm -hmm. Don't take that off the water, Corporal Lee. That's right, Jerry. Pour the water and no remark. Oh, okay. No, I'll take some. Hey, hey, wait a second. Here goes my glass. Catch! <laughs> Careful, Jerry. You pretty near missed that one. There, there's just one thing I'd like to know. I've meant to ask for a long time. What's that? How did I happen to get this job of pouring water anyhow? <laughs> Tell him how he got promoted to water corporal. Well, it's like this, Jerry. The newest man at each table is water corporal. Okay. But how long do I keep the job? Mm, until another new man comes along. Yeah, but maybe there won't be an, uh, another new man. Then you pour the water. <laughs> is it such a hard job? No, but I don't get a chance to eat. Go ahead and eat. We've had enough now. Would you like some nice strawberry jam on your bread? Well, where is it? I don't know. I was just asking, asking you if you'd like some. Oh, uh, <laughs> Watch it, Jerry. Here comes a glass. Hurry up. Pour the water. Don't keep the man waiting down at the end. <laughs> You'd think everybody at this table was a sponge instead of a human being. <laughs> Here, hand it down. Hand it down to the end. Hand it down. All right, you're all set now, Jerry. All the glasses are filled. Now you can eat your dinner. Hey, you fellows have had your dessert already. For sure, we're not slow eaters. Everyone's finished eating. See, Captain Bogart's going to address us now. I say, you better get a taste of that pudding, Jerry. It's good. Watch it. Attention, men. Attention. Too bad it was swell pudding. Oh, applesauce. <laughs> no, the pudding. Quiet, please, at that table. I have an important announcement to make, men. Tomorrow afternoon, Major Davis is entertaining a few friends, army men. And so, instead of having our regular monthly full dress parade and review next week, will take place tomorrow. I want to see every cadet at his very best. To receive further instructions from Cadet Major Metcalf. Cadets Dunlap, Rockwell, Wallace, Swanson, Warren, Lockhart, and Thorpe will be excused from classes in the forenoon to help Kirk Prentice erect and decorate the reviewing stand. Now, Sergeant Alden has a word for you. Sergeant Alden. Thank you, Captain. Men, the annual riding contest between Fair Oaks and Edson Military Institute is not far off. As you all know, the rivalry between FMA and EMI is keen. Now, in the past four years, we have each won the Hunter Craig Silver Cup two times, EMI being last year's winner and present holder of the trophy. The school winning the cup three times becomes the permanent holder. So it's up to FMA to win this next contest and claim the handsome trophy as our own. That cup belongs in the trophy case in Custis Hall. And we're going to see to it that it's put there. <laughs> Edson Military Institute has a good team. Excellent formation riders and very good jumpers. But we have a good team, too. Yes, equally good. But I'm sorry to say, not complete. Now, there are two places open. Those places must be filled in soon. Now, within the next couple of days, I'm going to post on the bulletin board a list of cadets that are eligible for the team. If your name appears on the list, I want you to consider it an honor to come out to the stables and try out for a position. 
the glory will be yours when we win that Hunter Craig trophy. And we've got to do it. That's all, men. Did you hear that, Jerry? I'll bet your name will be on the list. Boy, if you make the mounted drill team, will that be something? Shh. Cadet Captain Lockhart will lead the singing of our alma mater. Attention! <laughs> Captain Bogart said, dress parade tomorrow. Well, I'll be glad to see that. I've never seen a dress parade. Say, that's right, you haven't. Too bad you won't be in it. Why won't he? Because he hasn't got a dress uniform. I guess that's a good reason. I wonder when I'm going to get it. Mm, pretty soon now. You can expect it almost any day. Hey, come here, fellas. Let's stall here by the doorway. Okay. Move over, Harold. Yeah, that's better. Now, listen. We'll have to talk fast. All right. What is it? Well, I figured out a keen place to meet. When? In a few minutes. In a few minutes? We've got to go to the study hall now. I know that, but do we have to stay there? We're supposed to. Yeah, we're supposed to do a lot of things that we're not going to do tonight. Now, get this. One by one, we'll sneak out of study hall. We'll signal to each other when the coast is clear. Uh, I may even go up to Captain Bogart's desk and talk with him while a couple of you make your getaway. That's taking an awful chance. Well, don't you want to take the chance? Oh, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man, I'm all for it. All right. Now then, when we get out, we'll go into Captain Rowland's classroom right down the hall there. But it's dark in there, and if we turn on the lights, we'll be caught. Do you need light to talk? Pipe down, please, and let me do the talking. I've got this figured out, and it'll work if you'll just pay attention. Go ahead, Lee. Hey, pipe down, you fellas. Well, in the first place, we've got to get out of the study hall. Then we'll duck into the classroom. Is that all set? Come on, boys. Down to the study hall. Oh, okay. yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. In the corridor is no meeting place. No loitering. Wow, was that a close call. Yeah. Well, you got the orders now before we go in? Yeah, all set. You understand, Jerry? Carol? Check. Check. Okay, let's go in now and watch for signals. Let's sit as close as possible together. Yeah, good idea. Hey, right over here. Here's four together. Let's settle down now. Uh, right in front here, Tubby. Okay. Uh, 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 quiet. Do you want to spoil everything? Well, can I help it if I have to sneeze? You don't have to be so loud and attract so much attention. Pipe down. Captain Bogart's looking this way. All right, I'll get up to his desk now and start talking to him before somebody else does. When he's not looking, you sneak out, Tubby. Okay, and duck into Captain Roland's room. Check. And then you get out, Harold. All right, here I go. Be careful now. Uh, Captain Bogart, sir. Cadet Phillips? Uh, I wonder if you'd give me a little help with a problem. Be glad to. Come around this side of the desk. Yes, sir. That's it. Now, uh, what is it you'd like to know? Well, sir, in measuring the span and rise of an arch, I know I've had this in your class, but I've forgotten just which way this is. Excuse me, Phillips. Yes, sir. Yes? Oh, yes, Major Davis. No, no, not at all. Yes, sir, I'll come right down. Phillips, you'll have to look up the answer to whatever your question is in this book here. Let's see, uh, this is the one right here. I'm going to have to go down to Major Davis's office for a few minutes. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, you can use the book right here at my desk if you wish. Oh, thank you, sir. They made it, Lee, and just in time. Harold just got through the door when the captain left his desk. Gee, I hope they weren't caught in the hallway. Come on, let's go. Now? Sure, this is a good time. Captain Bogart had to go down to see Major Davis for a few minutes. Come on, hurry. Okay, but... Come on. into the Major's office now. Boy, it's lucky he didn't look back. Come on, let's run for it. Is that you, Lee? Yes, be quiet. Hey, who's in here? <laughs> oh, cut it out, Jerry. <laughs> Come on down here by the blackboard so we can see a little by this moonlight that's coming in the window. Come on, Harold. Boy, we just made it. 
I thought for sure I'd get caught. All right, now listen. We gotta work fast. Is the paint set, Tubby? All set. A nice wide brush so we can work fast. I had to go all around the block to plant the stuff. I went all down. All right, all right. We can hear that later. Now let's draw lots and see who's going to do the painting. How you gonna do that? I've got it. Let's toss the racers. I don't get you. What do you mean, Jerry? Well, we'll lag the racers against the wall, and the one coming nearest gets to paint the stack. Oh, good idea. All right, grab an eraser, you fellas. Yeah, I got one. Okay, now stand back. Uh, about here. You go first, Harold. Okay. Boy, that was a close, but it bounced back. I'll go next. I can't see it. It's about two inches from the wall. Okay, here goes mine. How's that? I can see mine all right. And <laughs> you'll have to go some to beat that cadet, Dugan. Well, looks like I get the honor of doing the paint job. Mm, just let me at that smokestack. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. I'm good at this lagging. What do you think I suggested it for? Okay, go ahead. Let's see. <laughs> Jerry wins! Shh, quiet. How's that? Right against the wall. Yep, you've got it, Jerry. Congratulations. Now, what's next to take up? Well, the uh, paint and brush are ready. You're going to do the painting, and we'll help with the ladders. Yeah, and stand by to give warning. When do we do it? Let's meet in our room right after taps. Before the officer of the day makes his rounds? Sure, why not? He doesn't look in the rooms the first time around. Okay, that's it then. All meet in our room. Uh, even before taps. Sneak over from the washroom. Check? Check. 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 Come on, then. Let's get out of here. Captain Bogart will be coming back any minute. I'll open the door and see if the coast is clear. How is it? Okay, come on. Hey, wait a minute. I left my composition book in the room. Oh. You will. Well, go on back and get it. Hurry. We'll sneak back into study hall. Come on, Jerry and Tubby. All right, Major Davis. Linwell. Oh, 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 oh yeah, uh, yes, sir. What were you doing in Captain Rowland's classroom at this hour of night? In Captain Rowland's... Yeah, no, yes, sir. Come on, come on. Quit stuttering. What, what were you doing in there? Nothing, sir. Then what did you go in there for? Well, well, well what did I... Yes, sir. Is anyone else in there? Oh, no, sir. Are you going to tell me what you were doing in that room? Oh, no, sir. I mean... Never mind, Linwell. I think I know what this is all about. I recall you and a couple of other cadets talking here in the hallway before you went into study hall. And I think I remember who the other cadets were. I'll look into this later. Go on now. Get back into study hall. Yes, sir. Uh... You might tell your friends that you were caught. They might be interested in knowing. Yes, sir. Uh, 